Something that is very key to innovation success is having character. And what I mean by that is being resilient. My education background uh, started at Western University where I studied neuroscience and then I followed that at McMaster University studying a master's in global health. A personal thing that uh, I would love to address is the mental health conditions and I think this really stems with uh, my personal experience with mental health with my grandma. Uh, she unfortunately passed away due to Alzheimer's disease but um, being able to experience and learn from her and, and, and understand her experiences uh, has shaped me in terms of launching myself in a career in neuroscience. Learning about Dr. Sutherland, he has innovated and really is a creative problem solver. He had a patient where he noticed that they had a lot of tumors and really he didn't have the resources or tools to be able to get it all. I took out a lot of the tumors, but I may have missed two or three, which meant that patient would have to come back to the operating room. So that led to the idea that we need to move MR technology into the operating room, allowing surgeons to take images to assess whether or not they've achieved surgical goals. One of the challenges of intraoperative imaging is that the acquisition of images interrupts surgery. So would it not be wonderful if we could deploy machine technology into the imaging environment? And that project we called Project NeuroArm. He defied the laws of physics and he created the NeuroArm, a robot within medicine, within surgery, to be able to assist physicians in, in doing neurosurgery, which is insane and, and so, so amazing. There are a lot of gaps in care. Through my research experience with the Health Equity Action Research Team, we found that culturally competent care is important. I was grateful enough to be a part of a team where we launched a nonprofit organization called the Institute for Youth Health and Development. When starting a nonprofit organization, it's important to have character because you're going to get no's, you're going to get failures and rejections. These iterative steps often lead to blind alleys, and so you back up and you start again, and, and that is the trial and error idea of finding the better path, the better way. Being able to have character throughout the process, being resilient, it's that active effort and working with communities. A lot of folks thought that interoperative project was crazy. What the investigators propose is just not possible. Learning about an innovator like Dr. Sutherland has uh, amazed me as a person and inspired me to continue pushing myself. My dream is to pursue medicine and I think to become a physician who is able to provide care to diverse groups within Canada but also abroad. My advice to young people is, is to not give up. It is to continue pushing and continue learning and in face of failure or rejections, those are actually times of growth to continue to work towards your, your goal.